Every time I'm looking away, you know, high tide and I want to see it go. You know, I'm looking out. Welcome, come on in. Hi everyone, this is my friend Jamie. He's going to be taking us on a tour of his apartment here in London today. Let's get into it. So Jamie, where are we? We are in Battersea and a theme that will go throughout the apartment is Harry Potter. I'm a huge Harry Potter lover. I'm wearing a Harry Potter t-shirt too. <laughs> uh, so wizards are welcome, muggles are tolerated. <laughs> So this opens up into our main living area. Um, we have a couple double doors in the property and they're great. Let's start in your living room, shall we? Yeah, so this is our main living space. It's very big and open plan. So it's actually our living room and dining room. We've kind of divided up the space between a living area and a dining area by moving around the furniture, fitting in with our feature column, pillar, fe feature thing. Now this looks really cool. Tell us about this. So this was uh, extremely expensive. <laughs> when we moved in, it was just a plain white pillar and it was really awkwardly placed in the room. So there wasn't really anything that we could do. Um, but we decided to cover it up with these, which you can actually buy at Ikea um, and some fake flowers that are on there as well. Um, but if you're gonna do it, be prepared to spend a lot because it costs about 220 pounds. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> so when you got this place, was this place furnished or unfurnished? What, how much of this is yours? It's furnished. Um, we have added a couple of things in, mainly like bedroom furniture and stuff, but pretty much everything you see in here was theirs, apart from most of the cushions. <laughs> George likes cushions. So this is our dining area. Um, the table doesn't actually get used very often for dining. Uh, we normally use it for like crafts and stuff. Um, we do actually have a fireplace. Um, a working fireplace, which is nice. Um, we have yet to use it, which is weird considering we're coming out of winter. And then we kind of split the area off for like work stuff. That's where we store our craft things and a desk. And then we have a party fridge over in the corner, which is where everyone puts their drinks when they come over. <laughs> so it's literally just used for party drinks? Literally just used for party drinks. <laughs> so we do also have a balcony. Uh, when we moved in, it was September. So we haven't actually used the balcony yet. So it's kind of gross. Um, but we have one. <laughs> kind of unusual um, in our price bracket, definitely. Um, so we will be decorating out here once the weather gets a little bit nicer consistently. Um, what's nice about the balcony as well is it's almost like a Jack and Jill balcony because that door goes into my bedroom. Um, so I can access it from there or from the main living space. So what do you do for a living? Uh, I work in media, I work for Discovery um, and I also make YouTube videos about body confidence. You can't just have one job in London, you always have to have a side hustle. So we'll go into my bedroom now. So this place is two bed. Uh, this is my bedroom. I do have a slightly larger room um, than my housemate George, but both of them are, are pretty decent sizes, especially considering like how much we pay in rent and stuff. Both of them include doubles and have built-in wardrobes. However, the built-in wardrobes are really awkward. So I did have to buy my own and just buy a couple of pieces of furniture to fill out the space because the furniture that they gave us was one bedside table and one bed, that was it. How did you choose who got the bigger bedroom? I get the bigger bedroom because I pay for the Wi-Fi. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> and then I think the, we did it the same in the last place as well. I paid more rent and I got the bigger bedroom. Um, and then here, pay the Wi-Fi, get the bigger bedroom. So what's your favorite feature of your room? At the moment, I'm still kind of in the middle of decorating it. I would probably say either my ladder shelving um, or my Monstera Deliciosa plant, because I love this. That sounds like a mouthful. It is. <laughs> so where are we going next? We'll go into the second bedroom now, which is my housemate George's bedroom. So as you can see, it is slightly smaller, um, but it's, it's still not small. It's still a decent sized double room. George is exactly the same. He is in the middle of decorating. We're in the middle of decorating the whole place, to be honest. And George has views of Batty Power Station. And if you lean right over, you can see the shard over to the right. So how did you find a roommate in London? It's actually pretty easy. So when I first moved here, I lived with other people. I lived with two people, um, but we decided to move out of the area. Um, and I already knew George anyway through a friend. Um, but at that point, I'd say that we were like acquaintances. We hadn't really hung out. Um, and then we decided to move together because it was convenient. We both needed to move around about the same time. So it just made sense. I think we should go into the bathroom now. So the bathroom is my least favorite part of the property. Um, 
because it's just not very nice. <laughs> and we've spoken to uh, our landlord about the bathroom before um, and they have made some changes, but fingers crossed we'll get some more soon. It's just a bathroom with a leaky tap. <laughs> but it has some great doors, right? <laughs> it does. It does have another set of double doors. Um, the only problem with them is I installed the wrong lock. So if you're in there, you just have to like hope and pray that no one comes in. But we do have a lovely little sign that says, if the door is closed, please wait. Otherwise I'll get a bit of a shock. <laughs> And then the final room is the kitchen. We are in the middle of decorating the kitchen. This was actually part of our negotiation for when we uh, leased the property. Um, they were very willing that we said, we want to decorate. That's like the only reason we're gonna take it. Um, and they said, yes. So we're currently stripping all of these back to wood to paint them like a dark gray color to contrast with the countertops and make the space feel a little bit more cozy. So how much is this place per calendar month? So this is £1,450 a month, um, which is pretty decent for the area. Um, it's the most I've paid in rent, I think, but you also get so much for your money. Like it's a huge space and we're really well situated as well. We're not far from a lot of things. So thanks so much for giving us a tour of your place. Thank you for coming over. Yeah, it's so nice. I really particularly love this bit. This is insane. This is my favourite. <laughs> and as Jamie said, he has a YouTube channel. The link is in the description if you'd like to check out. Tell us a little more about it again. Uh, I try different things to uh, improve body confidence. So do check that out. If you'd like to see more house tours, then do let me know by comments and likes and all the usual stuff that you do. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.